The city of Bath is known for its spa and its Georgian grandeur, so I've come for a spot of pampering and sightseeing to cheer myself up in these dreary winter months. I'm staying at Bath Marina and Caravan Park, just two miles outside the city, perfect for exploring. Bath's iconic buildings are a mix of Georgian and Regency architecture, made of limestone and modelled on great European cities, such as those in ancient Rome and Greece. Pulteney Bridge is one of only a few bridges in the world to have shops built into it, and nearby parade gardens are lovely for a stroll. Bath has plenty of green spaces to enjoy the sunny days, including Royal Victoria Park backed by the Royal Crescent, or you can take a boat tour down the River Avon. Before I start exploring the city, I'm going to pop into the Tourist Information Centre to find out where to begin. The best way to get to know any city is with a little insider knowledge, which is where Caroline from Bath Tourism Plus comes in. The main highlights, I would say, are the Roman baths. Uh, we are blessed with a natural water source here in the city. So dating back to Roman times, where the Romans created the most beautiful Roman bath, just outside the Vista Information Centre. I would probably suggest a tour of Bath Abbey, uh, taking in the views from the tower. They do tower tours. And if you have a bit of extra time, I would probably suggest going to the Thermae Bath Spa where you can soak up the, the, again, the natural waters from the natural source and take in the views, the 360 degree views of Bath from the rooftop swimming pool. Here in Bath, we are very lucky to have a, a multitude of shops, restaurants, pubs on our doorstep. Uh, Bath is without doubt a shopping mecca. Bath is quite a compact city, so it's very easy to walk through the city, familiarise yourself with the city that way, uh, and take in the, the highlights as you're walking along. I'm not the only one that loves coming to Bath. Here are some highlights that other people are drawn to. I like the fact that it's got great shops, good local buses, loads of open spaces, it's a small city so it's safe as well. Great restaurants, pubs, clubs if you're into that as well, so yeah, loads to do here. Yeah. We've not seen very much but the Abbey's quite cool and we're now off to Herschel Museum of Astronomy. But we've been to the galleries and the pretty bridge and everything. 